Now, uh, Reno, um, you are responsible for something called the Country Fried Take. Um, are we going to get yes, on sir. today? Yes, sir. Absolutely. I'll, uh, I'll hop on it right now. <laughs> so some things in life are supposed to be hard, like steel-toed boots, heavy metal music, and a man's wiener on his wedding night. <laughs> but a few folks recently decided that college is not one of them. An NYU professor recently fi was fired after students complained his organic chemistry class was too hard. Now, I'm not exactly sure what organic chemistry is, but it has the word organ in it, so I assume it's a doctor's class. <laughs> which, means, which means, yeah, it probably is hard, and for good reason. Doctor's classes are supposed to be hard in order to keep people who shouldn't be doctors from becoming doctors. <laughs> You go in for a vasectomy and come out with your butthole sewed shut, you'll wish that doctor had taken those harder classes. <laughs> and I looked it up. The actual definition of organic chemistry is a subdiscipline with chemistry involving the scientific study of structure, properties, and reactions of organic compounds and organic materials, i.e. matter in its various forms that contain carbon atoms. Ah. Who hears that and goes, oh, yeah, dude, I'm going to coast through this class. <laughs> I mean, forget the class. I don't even understand the description. <laughs> now, my kids always get mad at me when I call people names. They're like, you're damaging people when you say things like that. Trigger words, they call them. Now, I come from a family of hunters, so the only trigger word I knew was pull. <laughs> but... Apparently, there are all these other negative, offensive, scary words out there that elicit feelings of trauma and fear. And apparently, that includes words like effort, work, <laughs> challenge, <laughs> responsibility. I could go on, but the people that I'm preaching to are already running through their safe spaces, falling into the fetal position, weeping. <laughs> it seems sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me is no longer a thing. Probably because sticks and stones are now freaking trigger words. <laughs> <laughs> and shame on NYU for deciding that the professor shouldn't work just because the students wouldn't work. If I taught at NYU, and it would probably be PE, but <laughs> I'd, <laughs> I'd have been fired a long time ago. And if not, I'd have found another job because the precedent has now been set. And teaching tough subjects is now grounds for termination. The inmates have officially started running the prisons. Is there good news? Yes. These whiny little brats won't be medical professionals. In fact, the only time people will say doctor to them is when it's sandwiched between the words large and pepper. <laughs> And for all of you out there that just thought, what a boomer, so is your mom. I'm Reno Collier, and that's my country fried take. Oh, wow. Thank you, Reno. <laughs> really got him at the end. Yeah. I snuck him at the end. Yeah. I'm not putting up with these kids. I, I don't want to turn into that get off my lawn guy, but damn it. Get off my lawn. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. You want to get the, you want to weed out the idiots. <laughs> yes. Uh, absolutely. absolutely. As you say. It uh, is pretty stupid that they fired a professor for doing yeah, his job. To be, there has to be more to this than uh, what they're saying, but um, oh, no. yeah, no, that's a tough course. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I'm with Reno. I couldn't get through the course description. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. I mean, zero aptitude <laughs> in that department. Well, thanks, Reno. That was terrific. Um, yeah, man. And 